Well, hello, Freedom Forgers, and welcome to the Forging Freedom podcast channel. Hey, well, today we're going to continue our uh, Cooking 101 series, and tonight we're going to learn how to cook spaghetti squash. Now, spaghetti squash is one of the easiest squashes to grow, and it grows prolifically here in northern Utah. And so this particular uh, spaghetti squash is one that I grew last summer. So here it is, February, and I've still got quite a few of these spaghetti squashes down in the cold storage. So I'm going to show you a simple way to cook this, and it's probably a way that you've never seen before. Uh, it's one little technique that I came up with that has made it a lot easier for me. So who is this cooking series for? Well, you know, this is for everybody, but particularly I am interested in teaching those of you who may not have had an opportunity to learn cooking from a mom or dad or a grandma or grandpa. You just haven't had the opportunity. I'm especially speaking to my millennial friends who um, are very interested in eating cleanly and eating organically and eating in a sustainable way. And one of the best ways you can do that is to garden but you've also got to be able to know what, how to cook the things you grow. So I'm just going to show you this. It's super easy. First thing we're going to do is we are going to cut this squash right down the middle. And you will notice that the longer they sit in your cold storage, the harder this rind gets. So you're going to have to use some force. But be very careful. You do not want to uh, cut yourself. I'm going to get it started. It's going to um, kind of have a fault line that goes off at an angle so it's best to turn it around and cut it the other direction and you're probably never going to get it perfect but it doesn't really matter all right we've just about got it all the way through there we go okay so uh, the next thing that you're going to do here is you're going to scrape out all the insides all the seeds and all the stringy stuff and that's going to go in our bowl that we're going to feed to our chickens tomorrow. So let me get that done and I'll be right back with you. Okay, guys, so I've got these all cleaned out. And you can see that it's still a little bit stringy inside of there. Um, you're never going to get all the strings out because, again, this is spaghetti squash and it's always going to be stringy. So you won't be able to clear it out uh, like as smoothly as you would a pumpkin. But that's all cleaned out. And uh, you can see the, the insides and the seeds right here. And again, those will go to the chickens. The chickens will eat those seeds and they'll eat them whole and uh, they'll be just fine. You can also bake these seeds, roast them, uh, toast them, and you can eat them yourself. Or you can plant them. Um, so we'll talk about that in another video. So what I've got here is I've got some kosher salt. And I'm just going to give a little sprinkle to the center of these. I'm going to try to get some on the sides, some on the top, and some in the center. I would say about a half a teaspoon and just like that. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're just going to put a little bit of butter, maybe a tablespoon, into each one. Okay. And then what we're going to do, this is the part that I wanted to show you that makes it so easy. So let me just grab a couple things. I'll be right back. Okay, what I've got here is this is a canning ring. This is a standard one quart canning ring. You'll see that it's kind of black and beat up. Uh, this is a canning ring that had got too rusty to use for canning, but I saved these because I find them to come in handy for a lot of different things. And uh, one day I was thinking, how can I keep this squash from tipping over in the uh, oven? So um, I didn't tell you this, but I've got my oven preheated to 400 degrees. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take this foil, shiny side up. We're going to set this in the middle of the foil, and we're just going to put the squash on it. You see how that gives it some stability and it's not going to tip over? Then we just bring our corners up and up again and kind of smush that in there and wrap that up. And we're going to do that with the other one as well. But what we're going to do is just pop this in the oven at 400 degrees for one hour. And it's going to come out and it's going to be perfect. So let's get that done and we'll be right back. All right, guys. So our spaghetti squash has been in the oven for about an hour. Let's just open it up and see 
what we've got. Well, it looks perfect. Let me just tilt that towards you so you can see. You can see that the squash is just tender and spaghetti-like, which is exactly what you want. Feel free to add a little bit more butter, a little bit more salt to your taste. But there you go, spaghetti squash done perfectly. And um, just remember that you can do it too. It's not that hard. And you guys, if you like this kind of stuff, please subscribe to the channel and share it. Also, make sure to check us out on forgingfreedompodcast.com and take a listen to our podcast. Anyway, guys, I hope you're doing something every day to forge your freedom. And we'll see you next time. Bye now. Hey guys, don't leave just yet. If you'd like to learn how you can forge your freedom, join us on the podcast at forgingfreedompodcast.com. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel by clicking the Gold Eagle badge coming right up on the screen. Also, if you want to make sure you'll never miss a video, make sure to click the little bell. Thank you for watching our channel. And make sure you go out today and do something to forge your freedom. See you soon.